A little bit of archer practice on this fine Friday morning at the Daniels residence. Headshot. Wolfie, baby, all I need is some pack. I got hella money on me or the cash in the bag. Yeah. Pull up all black and leg. And my girl hopping now that she looking for me. What a little, we're literally out here shooting these bow and arrows and this wasp, dude, fat hornet just bit me on the back, look. Yeah, it's a little oh, red. Damn, that is about to hurt, it's like a bitch. Just finished up our archer session. I got my ass kicked by that wasp, but that ain't stopping us. We out here in the man cave. Let's get it, let's get it. Want to tie the knot, ooh, ooh. Andrew's so excited. About to get pop school. What's up? How you guys doing? Good. Dude, this is like We're fantastic. So this is so dope. If you guys are in St. Augustine area, check it out. I do a two of the blueberry lavender lemonade. Cheers. Thank you. So we got in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift up here thinking he can weave in and out of traffic. Look at this guy, he thinks he's a fucking Lamborghini. Anyways, just got done with that workout with my boy Andrew. We are headed down to Tampa, Florida. It is my boy Casey Connell's 24th birthday. Pretty spontaneous. He hit me up last minute. He's like, hey dog, it's my birthday. I'm celebrating in Tampa. Would love if you could come. And naturally, you know, this summer has been all about experiencing new things, whether that be people, places, things, you know, ambiance. And I have never been to Tampa. That's the only place in Florida that I've never been, surprisingly. And we're about to get nuts tonight. I apologize in advance, mom, if you're watching. Sorry. The boys here! So we just arrived over here in Tampa. First impression, I like it. It's a beachy vibe. We're right here next to the water and we're literally walking distance from the bars. Super dope. Pack light, as you can see. Never do. Stay tuned for the misbehavior, people. Sudden death, baby. We out here, I'm with my boy Juancho, it's my fellow Colombiano. This ¿Cómo is the ¿Cómo están? Yeah. ladies say what's up to him, drop the likes in the comments for him. But anyways, we out here in the uh, we out here in the Tampa heat. It's uh it's a lot different from LA. Hot as shit sweating as I'm walking Very sweaty. and we're okay. running a half marathon just to get to the club or wherever the f we're going. We're trying to get both of these girls to finagle our way inside there. We skipped all that mother line and we're about to go to the front right now. I don't know where the f we're at. We're at some place called McDentos or something. Honestly guys, listen, hey, this girl right here, this is the girl that got us all the way to the f***ing. We skipped the whole mother line of this shit. So yeah, she's the one that we need to thank right now. So we skipped the whole it was about to be 45 minutes. Thank God, Loki, she had something to do with it as well, too. So both of these girls. Because I was sweating my ass off out there.
my forehead. And she keeps f***ing sneezing everywhere. She's sneezing her corona all over the f***ing vlog. If you guys get infected, that, that's her to blame. Uh, we just left this local pub that we're at right now, and I guess that they convinced me to go to the Hard Rock in Tampa, which is a new Hard Rock casino that they just built. It's in the shape of a guitar, you'll see soon. Yo, third largest in the United States. Yes. Third largest. It's third largest. It's time to blow my stimulus check on black, all right? I'm throwing all it on black, black. All, all on black. black. All on black, you heard it here. Stimulus. So we just made it to the fucking Hard Rock Casino in Tampa. And I guess we're about to go gamble all of our money away. All our money. Why you're in here? Oh, oh, oh. Yep. Oh. Good. Anyways, the night's turned up so good so far because we up, we up. We up. Show them, show them, show them, show them, show them. Show them. Show them. Show them. Today's topic is the art of following up. What I mean by that is keeping in contact with people in your network periodically. Personally, um, when I put my life into perspective, uh, one of the main reasons why I'm able to experience all the things that I do, go to all the places that I've been with all the people that you guys see is because I make it a point to myself to periodically reach out to people from my past and my present all it takes is a couple minutes and I ask how they're doing, what's going on in their life, how they've been. And it's a very simple concept, but I feel like a lot of people don't do it and it should be done more. So some of the people you guys just saw in that vlog were good friends of mine from college who I hadn't spoken to you know, or seen in years and I could have easily lost contact with all of them. Um, but I think it starts with putting your pride aside and making that initial push to communicating with people um, in your life. Uh, I know it's you know hard for most people to do so because you know the common saying, uh, phones work both ways. In my opinion, that saying is very obsolete um, because if you do not make the initial initiative to start a conversation with someone, it'll never happen. Um, so my recommendation to you is to put your pride aside, to text those people that you're thinking about or that you haven't talked to in a while and check up on them. Ask how they're doing, ask uh, how their life's going, what they're you know, aspiring to do professionally or currently, uh, currently doing in their lives. Um, and it will go a long way with them for sure. And you'll see that people will hopefully start to reciprocate the conversation over time. Um, if you do that initial push, the second push, the third push, and you're the, always the one that is starting the conversation, then maybe it's time to reevaluate that friendship. But I guarantee you, uh, for the most part, that if you put the first step forward, um, you'll receive a positive outcome. So taking that little bit of time, those extra couple of minutes before you rest your head on your pillow and you go to bed really do make the difference. Try it out. If you're watching this right now, I challenge you to reach out to three people that you haven't talked to in the past year. Ask them how they're doing, ask them what they're up to, and let me know in the comments how, uh, how those interactions went. I guarantee you, you'll be glad that you did so. That's the word of the day, the art of follow-up. End of vlog.